So I don't know what picture you have in your mind of the Internet of Things. For me, this picture is evolving daily and moving ever faster. The idea that edge node devices can be everywhere in our environment, monitoring local climate conditions, monitoring mechanical factors, stress, loadings, and also traffic data, making smart roads happen. Over the last decade, the microcontroller industry has shipped 150 billion devices into the market. The vast majority of these were not interconnected. They were single local points of intelligence. Today, the plans for those products are becoming ubiquitously that they will be part of a larger network. The other big change coming is the move toward software as the huge differentiator. And today, in the embedded microcontroller community, our customers spend approximately 60% of their R&D on software compared to hardware development. Until that becomes enabled by cost, by process technology, by miniaturization and power reduction, we'll have a wide range of subnet protocols. This is the infrastructure, the landscape of the Internet of Things, all the way from the cloud, down through processing nodes, local connectivity networks, all the way to so-called edge or sensor nodes. But for us, one box platform, together with Oracle and partners, offers our customers and developers an easy to use gateway, which means that instead of diverting attention away from product development at the edge node into having to provide proprietary gateway solutions that may work with only a few providers, our customers can now focus on the technology development of their true end application. Who will develop the edge nodes? We hope you. We don't have enough embedded programmers in the embedded industry today to make this happen. We need to bring security modules, trusted transaction processing, encryption standards, ultra lightweight, low power versions of those to the industry in rapid time scale. If we can do this together, the Internet of Things will go from being a concept and from being things you read about in the Wall Street Journal to our reality tomorrow and certainly over the next years.